Hey guys, Brent here from BrentMailPhotography.com. Today I'm at a uh, cable ski park where these guys come around you on these cable skis and they do all these tricks behind me over here on this uh, ramp. So in today's lesson I'm going to explain how I take these action photos and how I get these great images. And what we'll first do is we'll focus on focus. That means that um, I'm going to set my camera to the proper focus for photographing action photography. And that's on a Canon camera that's called AI server. It means that the camera is tracking the subject as they are coming towards me. And as they're moving, the camera is actually tracking the subject. And when I fire, it actually predicts where the subject's going to be and then fires the next shot. So here's one of the guys coming along. Let's hope he does something really good over here. Let's have a look. Wow, how good was that? And let's have a look at this guy. Oh, he went down. Anyway, that's, um, that's how I do it. I just press the shutter release button and I just hold it down and fire away. You probably heard the camera go tick, 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 tick. And it's photographing at a very high speed. I've set it to high speed drive, so it's like a motor drive. But um, the main thing is to focus on the focus um, setting. So I've set it to AI server to track the, the, the rider as he comes towards me. Okay, so let's have a look at those images that I just photographed at the cable ski park. And this is the first guy who jumped. So there's, there's the images, there's the first one. Let's have a look at uh, how I shot this. So I shot it at a one one thousandth of a second. So it's a pretty fast shutter speed. And I'm shooting on uh, time value or shutter priority mode. And, um, and I'm just letting the aperture take care of itself. And you'll notice that my uh, drive mode is uh, continuous, so I'm photographing at a high dry, so it takes a lot of photos a second, as many as this camera can. And I'm shooting with my 100 to 400 lens at a 200 millimeter, so kind of the mid zoom range. And I'm shooting on um, portrait mode, and my white balance is auto. And I'm shooting on large uh, JPEG. I'm not shooting raw here because um, because it's action photography, and I'm probably not going to process these too too much. So let's have a look at uh, how the autofocus worked on this series of of riders. Um, and I'm shooting on AI servo autofocus. So that's the main focus of this lesson is the autofocus. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing the shutter release button. The camera's tracking the rider as he's coming closer towards me and it's uh, it's doing a pretty good job so let's have a look so there's the first one and I'm shooting all of them at a thousandth of a second there's a the second one and I'm shooting in a vertical orientation or portrait orientation because uh, I want to show how high the rider is off the off the ground when he when he jumps so there's the second one it's nicely in focus third one's in focus that's good there he's still in focus and I'm starting to get a nice um, facial expression and there he lands and I'm out of focus so the camera didn't work too well there and there it attracts him in focus again. So it did pretty well I mean most of those are in focus. Uh, this is the second rider there he is doing his uh, maneuver quite a nice shot. I'm actually shooting with the sun behind me so the riders are, are riding and jumping into the sun which is a really good way to photograph uh, action because you want to capture the, the rider's face in, in, in the sun if you can or, or light up his face somehow because you want to see his expression when you're photographing action photography. There he is, there he goes, just a great shot. Now there I've got, I've got him in, I zoomed out a bit on that one. I'll just have a quick look over here. So my focal length is 150 millimeters. So I zoomed out a bit so I didn't cut off his, um, his, his board. Uh, there he goes. That's not a bad shot except I can't see his face so that that's one I wouldn't use. And there he lands. I think he's, this is when he wiped out. So there's a good shot. You can actually see his face. He knows he's going to wipe, wipe out I think. And there he goes. Um, and I didn't get, I think I deleted the wipeout shot. So that's the uh, lesson for today. Use uh, AI server or the tracking autofocus when you're photographing action photography and use a very uh, fast shutter speed to capture the action. I hope you enjoyed this action photography tip. Um, please leave me comments below and have a great day.